Well, um, at the last meeting, um, we were awaiting that day the publication of the um, evaluation by Essex University. So we, we thought we would revisit it again today. Um, and it turns out that's also quite timely. Um, the first question I have for you, uh, Deputy Commissioner, is have you now released your technical evaluation report on your trial of facial recognition technology? No, we haven't released it yet. And when will you release it? I don't know. But I, I, I see no reason why it shouldn't be released. Um, I don't know why it hasn't been released, but it may be it's simply ongoing and we're still working on it, but I, I can find out. No, we haven't released it yet. I asked that question. I don't have a date when it is to be released. Okay, we were expecting it at the same time as the Essex one originally. Right, okay. Right. But, um, yeah, if they're not coming out together, then we, we would expect to see it quite soon. Um, the second question is, you didn't, um, after the in, the, in the course of publishing the Essex University review, you didn't exercise your right of reply on the report. So, what is your view of the report? Uh, I, don't, I don't have a personal view uh, of, of the report. I'm just speaking on behalf of the, the Met, I guess, um, today. So. So we went, we went out to, uh, so obviously you know there was the ethics report, the ethics report from the, the, the mayor's ethics panel, uh, and then we commissioned the Essex report um, to give us differing views on facial recognition. Uh, and I, I guess we've got differing views on facial recognition because the mayor's panel report seemed generally positive, so long as it's constrained and proportionate. Uh, the Essex report took a different tack, I think. So, use, useful to get different views, and we await the JR from South Wales to see what that brings us as well in terms of a different view. So, I asked at the 3rd of July meeting here um, whether the Met would again uh, use um, facial recognition technology um, now that the trial have finished. Uh, Mark Simmons, the Assistant Commissioner, said we have stopped current uh, work on facial recognition in terms of active operational use of it so that we can take stock of what we've done. Um, Deputy Mayor said we've been clear there should be no further use of any of the technology until the five recommendations of the London Policing Ethics Panel have been addressed and that does include a review of the two reports and then the second report she was referring to was the technical evaluation. Um, so can you confirm you're not using it currently on the streets because I have reports, uh, eyewitness reports of facial recognition marked vans out on the weekend at the pro-democracy protest that took place <laughs> after the prorogation of Parliament. Um, we, don't, we don't have vans marked facial recognition and we're not deploying facial recognition on the streets. Um, I'm quite well aware of what a facial recognition van looks like and I've had the van described to me that passed through Trafalgar Square. Right. Um, it meets the description. Can you confirm it was not used at that pro-democracy protest? We have not used and are not using facial recognition. It was a pilot. It was used on ten occasions. The last one, I think, was in Romford many months ago, and we're not using it. Can you just try and track down and confirm what that van was that people saw there? It's like TV. It could be the mobile. Closer yeah. Sorry, I... I I mean, if you, want to, if, if you want to write to me with the details, I can, I can have it looked at. Okay, sorry, sorry, Steve, sorry, not to, um, just, just to be clear, it did say facial recognition on it is the report that we have had. Nobody was, no one was yeah, inventing that. Report, that. so that you can qualify it. I, I will endeavour to get you some evidence of what yeah, people okay. saw, and if you can explain I'm, that I'm, evidence to me, that would be very, very useful. Well, I may not be able to explain it to you, but I'm telling you that we are not using facial recognition on the streets of London. Okay, that is that's we, good to and, know. And we stopped... When I said we'd stop, which was it, Romf I think Romford was the last one we did. That was the final trial that you did. Okay, yeah. I mean, that is good to know, but obviously very worrying to have heard these, these, these reports from Saturday. Um, at the 14th of May Police and Crime Committee, um, the Commissioner was asked about the potential compilation of facial recognition watch lists based on protests and protester images captured on the streets. Um, and asked whether anything other than custody images were being used to compile watch lists for automated facial recognition. Now, she, like you just now, expressed some kind of surprise that I should even ask this, but she did promise to write with more information, and I've not had any reply to that yet. Can I chase that up via you today? And sure. if you have any information... Right, well, we'll make a note of that. I apologise you've not had that. OK, great. OK, so um, my... 
final question, I think, um, is that the judgment has now come out on the, uh, South, the judicial review of South Wales Police's trials of facial recognition. Um, this concludes that these trials were possible under the law as it stands, uh, based on the fact they were used for a limited time and for specific and limited purposes in each case as a trial. Um, this judgment is being appealed by uh, Liberty, um, and your own the judicial review against your own Metropolitan Police trials um, is currently under a stay because you are not <coughs> using it. Um, that's why I'm so interested in whether or not you, you have used it again on the streets. Can we expect, though, in light of the judgment um, today, that you, you might start redeploying it, or will you wait, as promised at the last meeting, for the full evaluation to take place onto the two reports? So, what we're waiting for is, A, the judicial review from South Wales, which we're, in, we're interested in. Obviously, I haven't, I haven't got the information you've got, so I didn't know that. Um, we are waiting for a full evaluation of the reports we're talking about, and most importantly, we're waiting to make sure that Management Board has a proper discussion about how, where, when, and if we will deploy facial recognition on the streets of London. Um, I have to say, I think it's appropriate to say, because we're, we're interested in being, you know, I don't want to be hiding anything from you, my view is that facial recognition should be deployed on the streets of London, yeah. so long as it is yeah. done, yeah. Yeah. so long as it is done within a legal framework, and if the JR is saying that there is a legal framework, that's and I, I haven't seen it, so I don't honestly know. We have approached the Home Secretary to say, uh, if it's not clear, we would like clarity on facial recognition. The Commission has said that on many occasions around the legislation or use of it. But we would also pay a great deal of attention to, and I think be bound by what the, the panel or the, the, the sample of a thousand Londoners said, which was actually 83, 84 per cent were happy that it would be used for serious crime, but increasingly less so for minor offences. That's pretty much where we are in the proportionate use we think is the right thing to do. I think to ignore a technology like this is not only folly, but probably pointless. It, I mean, um, it needs regulation it need, and we, oversight. We and completely agree. Potentially, um, as you know, ethical tests are very, very hard to meet, particularly for serious crimes where the consequences of misidentification, um, and we, we await your technical report, um, are much more serious for serious crimes. Those two, Except that. Those two different sets of balances are actually in, um, in conflict with each other. I accept other. that entirely. Can, I, I, can I say, sense. though, that just for the interest of members, we, we, we have a strong view that the, the levels of accuracy reflected in media reports on facial recognition, including the pilots we've used, have not, have not been accurate mm -hmm. themselves. And that the accuracy is, is, is significantly higher than has been reported. Obviously, the, the, Essex, the Essex report um, challenged the, uh, effectively the denominator of your accuracy figures. Yeah. Um, uh, so there are. And I have a number of scientists well. who disagree with that. But anyway. Um, yeah. To turn to the deputy mayor, um, I don't know if you have any further comment to make. I think your comments last time were, were quite clear. Um, we do not have any. We still do not have the two reports. Um, but the commissioner today, uh, not today, is, is reported today as saying um, in Sydney, um, I think yesterday, um, that we do need to be careful that we don't sleepwalk into what she described as a ghastly Orwellian omniscient police state and essentially seem to be crying out for some regulatory, ethical, political direction on all of this. Mm -hmm. Are you and the Mayor preparing to, to offer her that and bearing all the <laughs> evidence that we've seen in mind? Oh, no. So I think that's what the, well I don't think, I, that is why we asked the ethics panel to have a look at this and I absolutely agree with Steve in terms of you know, having to look at the technical report and the evaluation of that but that we've also, and we've agreed with the Mayor, that there won't be any further further use of uh, facial recognition until those, the recommendations of the ethics panel have been addressed. And on top of that, we have, the Mayor has already written to the, um, to the government to ask for legislation, regulation or proper standards around the use of live facial recognition and we'll continue to lobby to do that. I haven't seen the judicial review either, we'll have to take a look at it, but we'll still need a really clear framework and I think that's what the Commissioner was asking for uh, in her comments there. 
Um, you know, the, um, when the bio biometric um, commissioner produced his report uh, last year, he said there needed to be clear, or he, she, actually, I don't know <laughs> who it is, I can't remember who it is. <laughs> he, he said that there needs to be clear standards around the use of live facial recognition, and the Home Office ab agreed with that, said they would work to do, um, put those guidelines in place. They aren't there, so we will continue to lobby for that. Thank you. Can I, Chair, can I just be clear on one thing, though? Our, our view is that there should be clear national guidance, whether it's legislation yeah. or other form, around the use yeah. of facial recognition live time by, by the police service. We're completely up for that. Yeah. But once that's in place, the view the Commissioner has, which I want to echo here, is it's an operational tool and will be deployed at the view of the Commissioner. So long as the guidance is there, this is just very. I mean, we're taking baby steps here at the moment. I think you've been you've been quite clear today that while we don't have that, um, while we haven't finished our evaluation, it will not be used, and that will be reassuring to some people today. Well, no, sorry, I I need to be clear here. If the JR, which I have no idea what it says, is saying actually you can go ahead, then. That's a different matter because if the Home Office refuse or say you don't need more guidance, you don't need more legislation, then we, we will be faced with a situation of we may have to go ahead. With respect, we would, we the, would, we would prefer the guidance. The assurances we were given last time were based on the publication and evaluation of the two reports, yes, which I we still don't that. have, yeah. and the ethical tests, not mm -hmm. on any other legal case. Okay. So hopefully those assurances do stand given the conditions that you set at the last that you yeah, I was trying to I was meeting. probably trying to offer you more assurance what I'm what I'm saying is if 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 the JR says that the legislation currently is okay and we go through the test you've just talked about then we will feel free to go ahead if we think that's the right thing to do we just need to wait and see actually how the home office responds in terms of is there clarity right now or is there not OK, we'll be keeping a very close yeah. eye on anything that occurs sure on our streets. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Fine. OK. On that note...